Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we are going to continue our Python programming language series. So uh, first we are going to see uh, what is the if statement, what is the indentation in Python. Then after that, uh, we will go to uh, for the for loop, while loop and how it all, what is the logic behind that. So first of all, let's start with the if statement. Uh, so in Python, uh, uh, let, let me give you one example first. I'm taking one variable called a equal to five and I am putting the condition if a is equal equal to five. Now here uh, in Java, we used to do brackets. In Python, it, there is no brackets. So uh, it will be like, uh, first we have to put the indent and automatically, uh, see this space, uh, see the gap behind this. So uh, uh, the whole structure, the whole scope is defined by this indentation. So uh, let's say if a equal to equal to five, print uh, the value of a. I'm just putting something like this. Now just run this program. So uh, you can see the uh, the block is true. So that's why it's going. Uh, it, it is the printing this statement. Uh, there is also a nested if, uh, like say, if a equal equal 5, if a percentage 2 is not equal to 0, that means uh, the a is odd or not. If both statements are true, then it will, I will print odd. So it's going to print odd. So this is how it all works. Uh, you can see that I'm going. I'm going to explain this. Uh, this indentation. Everything uh, in Python is de uh, defined by this indentation. Now let's check if else. Uh, if a equal equal to five, print the value of a. I'm changing the logic a little bit. A percentage two is not equal to zero. Then I'm printing odd else. See, uh, the else is uh, here uh, on the uh, not not in the indent block, but it is it is outside on the same line of if. So else print even. So you can see, let, let me change the value of A. So that way you can understand better. See, uh, I put, I take the, I took the value of six, uh, of A is six. So that's why uh, the value, uh, they print this block. Now uh, there is also else if, elif, not elif, not else if, else if was in Java, uh, elif in, Elif syntax in in Python. So elif a equal to equal to um, something like zero. That print zero, something like that, and same as else print abc something whatever I'm. You can take anything else. So here I have taken six. So that's why the value uh, it goes in the last block. And you can put as many of elif you can else if if this is the condition true then it will print this statement otherwise it will check every else elif statement elif block and that if nothing uh, will get true then it will go in the else block now uh, i want to show you the for loop for loop in python so first of all, uh, I will define the for loop like this for i in range of five print i. So yeah, uh, this is what it has done. Uh, it has taken uh, the initial value of i will be zero and it will go, it will print five values from zero to four, zero, one, two, three, four. And you can, if you want to change, you can change uh, the values of 
five you, you can put 10 or some variable for example i want to take a variable from external i will take eight and here i will put r instead of five so it has it will print the value from zero to seven so uh, this is all uh, how it like the for loop works also i will show you uh, the while loop while a is greater than 0 i will print the value of a and also i will decrement the a's value and uh, it will print the value of a until the value of a is greater than 0 so 6 5 4 3 2 1 so when the value of a becomes zero it will not print this block so uh, this is all like for loop for loop is entry control loop uh, while loop is entry control loop for loop is exit control loop and uh, if statement and indentation see you notice that every in every loop or anything uh, the indentation is the main thing in python you have to take indentation otherwise it will not run it will give you error for example if i do like this it will give me error indentation block error so hope i think you learned something new then uh, please uh, hit the like button and uh, we will cover the some more topics in the next videos thank you very much